Hello folks, my name is Roland. I'm with Delmi Solutions and Delmi Training Institute. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how to terminate different types of jacks manufactured by Belden. Some of the jacks that I'll be talking about are the Akat 5E jacks, the Akat 6 Plus jacks, and the 10GX. Okay, to get started, you're going to need a piece of cable. In this case, I'm using CAT6 cables just for the termination purpose. I need my pair of strippers, I need my 110 impact tool. And for our lineman scissors, I'm going to terminate this 5E toolless jack. So, which means you don't need any punch tools to terminate this type or this style of jack. On the front part with the connections facing you you can see all the even numbers are located there and all the odd numbers are located in also on the cable loading mechanism you can terminate this jack in the 568a and 568b configuration if you're doing the 568a configuration you're going to be using the white green green white orange blue white blue orange and white brown brown if you chose to do a b pin out your color combination starting from pin, pin number one to pin number eight would be white orange orange white green blue white blue green and white brown brown i'm going to strip a piece of the cable and prep it and make it ready so what i do is with my cable strippers i feed my cable through it and i just squeeze it down a little bit and I spin it around the cable. What this ends up doing is it's cause a nice clean cut on the jacket of the cable. So I'm gonna take that off. Always make sure you inspect, you give it a second look to make sure that you did not cut into the cable itself. Also included in my cable pairs is my, it's my cable divider. So I'm going to cut that out. Now, having taken out all my cables, I'm going to be doing the 568A termination standard. So my brown is going to be on my right and my green is good to my left. And my blue and orange is going to be in the middle. So my brown and green separated carefully to my right and to my left respectively. Now holding the connector with the color coding facing you, you're going to slide the blue and orange cables within. Now, since I know that my orange, white, orange, and my blue goes here, I have to untwist each and every pair. Now, once they've been untwisted, I have to make sure I take out any twist that remains in the cable strand. Now, making sure that this is firmly pushed against the top of the connector, my white orange goes to the top. So I take my white orange and set it into the groove. Now on the other top side is my white blue. So I take the white blue and I feed it into the groove. As you can see, they both fall neatly inside the groove. Now on the back side, I have my solid orange that goes underneath my white blue. So I take my solid orange, I channel it into that groove. If possible, try to avoid them overlapping. So I separate that and my solid blue fits underneath my white orange like so. I'm going to move on to my brown pair. So what I'm going to do is untwist it and take out any excess twist within the strands. The top part is my white brown. I'm going to take that and go through the groove. White brown feeds into the groove on the back side. So I take that, feed it in here, and bring it all the way up. My white grain goes all the way up.
through the groove and up and then my solid green goes all the way down and up you have to ensure you have a nice clean layout and they make contact with the exposed metal in the connector i like to trim the excess cable on the front part before i insert it so with my your side cutters you're going to trim a little bit i don't trim it all the way to the edge but i leave a little bit to the top so that's about how much i leave on the top i don't have to worry with whatever it's on the back side of it so i take my cable that have been loaded into the assembly tray and i feed it in that way now using my thumb i hold the jack this way and i gently squeeze on it and what happens is the connector snaps into the cables and making contact with the copper within it once that is done I trim off the excess cables that are on the back side and I squeeze it in. There you go, then you have a very nice and clean termination using the Belden Cat 5E jack. The next jack that I'm going to be terminating is the Cat 6 Plus. This punch down jack requires the use of your 110 impact tool. Again, as I did previously, I'm going to insert my cable. Then I'm going to take off my cable divider. This belding jack allows you to terminate in the 568A and 568B pin out termination this termination is going to be the 568a so my solid blue from this jack is going to be going in here my white blue is going to go to the next one my solid green into the third groove and my so white green to the fourth groove now on this side my solid brown is going to go in here my white brown over there my solid orange and my white orange so that's how i'm going to terminate it this cable jack comes with a cable guide that allows you to feed the cables through and prep it for termination what this does is it prevents the cables from coming out once you've punched it down on the cable guide it's got four holes on the top all meant to receive each pair so it could be the blue orange green brown depending on what pinout fashion that you're going with and since i'm going with the the 568a pinout fashion the first two grooves is going to be my blue and my brown because my blue is going to terminate here and my brown is going to terminate there and on the other side my green is going to terminate on this side and my orange on the other side so I have to make sure that my blue and green cables go into one and three. Always note that the flat portion goes into the jack and the top portion goes where the cable feeds in. So it's always ideal for you to prep your cables in that fashion that they're gonna go. Having prepped my pairs, I'm gonna insert them in to this channel like that. And holding that, to it i'm going to flip this up flip that down flip the green up and my brown down so now my red my cables are ready to be terminated in the jack all right so now having my jack oriented in the proper fashion i'm going to take that and i'm going to sit that in and push it all the way down to be seated like that the next thing I'm gonna do is to remember that you always have to remember that the solid numbers always start 
So all my solid pairs are going to be into pin grooves number one, number three, number one, and number three on this side. So now you untwist and feed the solid, feed the white blue into it. Do the exact same thing, you untwist. And your solid green and your white green. I'm gonna feed the white orange in that groove and I'm gonna bring the solid orange. And I'm gonna do the last one which is my brown pair. So now that I have this, my cables are ready to be punched down. When using your punch down tool, you can change the settings depending on how much impact you want to be delivered on the side of the blade. Also bear in mind that the yellow side tells you where the cutting blade is. So always make sure that side faces out of the jack or away from the jack. So now holding my jack securely, I punch down. And you notice that it cuts it off smoothly. So once you start double punching, or oh, it's not cutting, and you have to twist after every cut, you notice that you have to change your blade. And by so doing, you can also damage the cable where it makes contact with the metal connector in the jack. Um, I terminate. Oh. So as you can see, I got a smooth cut on each and every end of it. Okay, the next termination is the Belden 10 gig compatible jack. We're still going to be doing the 568A termination. So whether you're doing the A or B, the brown and the blue stays the same. The only cable pair that change is the green and orange. As you can see from here, the green and the orange. So I'm gonna go ahead with my cable stripper. I'm gonna strip the sheeting off the cable. With my cable separator, same as what we noticed when we were doing this, it's got a groove on this side, it's got one groove on that side, and it's got on this side. And also, it's got two pointed sides here that stays up, and the flat side goes within the jack. And on the top, you've got four grooves. So I'm going to arrange them in the blue, brown, orange, green fashion. So I'm going to al align it blue, brown, orange, green. I'm going to fit them in again and I push it all the way till the end now I bend my blue and my brown over the cables face the opposite sides note that the solid numbers are on the outer edges so my solid green it's going to be on the outer edge. My solid brown is going to be on this outer edge. My solid blue is going to be on that outer edge. My solid brown is going to be on this outer edge. And all the striped colors are going to be on the inside. So I push this in till it's, I hear the click sound. And I untwist my cable and I slide it in. I do the exact same thing for this one or you can untwist that. I do the same like the solid and the white blue. So now as you can see all the cables are in their respective grooves and which means that it's ready to be punched down. I'm gonna take my 110 punch down tool Finally, my green pair it also falls off. So as you can see, my cable has been terminated very nicely. Now, Belden also provides the dust caps 
that you can use once you're done to prevent dust from accumulating into the connectors. These are meant to fit on the top and snap in. If you need to use it, all you have to do is to flip it open and put your patch cable through. Now that all my cables have been properly terminated, I'm going to run them through the tester to ensure that I have pinout connectivity with my low cost cable tester. This you can find on eBay or on Amazon and they let you know if your pinout configuration is all good. Before I get started, I need a male end to plug into my cable tester. Since I have the female portions of the jack, and this is a sample of a patch cable that I recently made, so I'm going to use that as my patch cable. But before I use that, I have to verify to ensure that the cable that I'm using is good. So I'm going to test this end to end and plug the other end in here and I'll turn on my cable tester and I just want to ensure that my cable pinouts are all straight through and that confirms that this patch cable is good and I can use that as a test cable now this is a pre-made cable that I also purchased and I'm going to test that one out. So I plug one end in and I plug my other end in. And I just want to ensure that my cable pinouts are all straight through. So once I've confirmed that, I'm going to take one end of the cable and plug it into my terminator jack and take the other end of that patch cord that I already made and I'll plug it into the other end of my 5E jack. So as you can see, the cables are going through the pinouts without issues. And that tells me my pinout configuration through the patch cable, through the jacks that I made are all working well. All right, folks, so this brings us to the end of yet another tutorial on how to terminate jacks made by Belden. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was informative. And if you did, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can follow us on Instagram at Delmi Training. If you want to be the first to be notified of any of our future videos, please make sure to turn on your notification icon. If you have any questions regarding this short tutorial on how to terminate these building jacks, please make sure to leave us a note in the comment section below and we'll be sure to touch base. And also if there are any future topics regarding network cabling that you'd want us to talk about, please do leave us a comment also in the section below and we'll be sure to, to be in touch. My name is Roland, I'm with Delmi Solutions and Delmi Training Institute. Thank you for being along and stay safe.